G'day guys, Greg here. Now, I've been getting a lot of people saying, mate, can you please go and do a review on the new Zinger mozzarella burger from KFC? And, and well, in fact, I've already done that review. I did it like three years ago. Ah, the memories. Or lack thereof, I actually can't remember what the burger was like, so I probably should do a review on it. But I was looking on my KFC app, and, well, you know when you go to, uh, well, you go to the secret menu? I was looking on there, and now they've got a new secret menu item. It's another Zinger mozzarella, except it's got no bun on it. This, my friends, is something that I must try. So today, I'm going to try one of these Zinger mozzarellas. Let's go get one. <laughs> Alrighty, well, here we go. The Zinger mozzarella from the secret menu. I also got myself an extra little treat. Let's have a look. <laughs> well... I got a two dollar large chips. Yes, that's my treat today. Two dollar large chips. But this is what we all came for. The secret menu zinger mozzarella. <gasps> Do I hear an angel caroling? Yes! Have a look at this bad boy. All right, so we got the Zinger fillet patty here. <laughs> wow, there's plenty of tomato sauce. And there's the mozzarella uh, Zinger coated piece of cheese. A piece of bacon that looks, <laughs> well, I won't say what it looks like, but it doesn't look like bacon. And I'm guessing there used to be cheese on there. Oh, is that the mayo? Yeah, there's no cheese on this. Get your facts straight, Grago. And then there's another zinger piece of chicken there. Oh boy. All I can say to this is, wow. And it should have the wow factor for $11.95. But before I get into that, listen. It is $2 chip time, so I just wanna cleanse my mouth with some KSC chips. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not too bad, and I can feel the indigestion coming on already, so... <sighs> it's a great feeling. Makes you feel alive. But yeah, this Zinger mozzarella, wow. <gasps> Two solid pieces of chook there. Let's try the coating. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Not too bad. What about this cheese? Is it stretchy? You'd want it to be. Oh, well, sort of is. Well, I guess it is. <laughs> Still going. Who's going to quit? Oh, there it goes. Mmm. I can already feel that I'm going to be struggling to push that out in a couple of hours' time. But anyway, let's get stuck into this bad boy. Oh. Mm. oh. Oh, mate. Mmm. Hey. I tell you, that is salty. Man, that is salty. Man, there's more salt on this than those pink hills in the Himalayas. Crikey! But boy, does it taste good. Wow. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mm. Well, if nothing else, the saltiness has taken away that indigestion <laughs> that I thought I was going to get. But I can vaguely taste the mayonnaise. I'm definitely getting some of that bacon. But the saltiness of this chicken zinger patties, mate, that is, uh, woo, a heart attack waiting to happen. Ooh, come at me. Mm. Oh, I'm actually getting the sweats now. That's how zingery it is and salty. 
I'm going to be perspiring this out for the next couple of days, I reckon. But man, is this good. Oh. Mmm. Boy. Mmm. Man, I'm smashing this thing. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Oh, mate. See what, this is disappearing faster than a TV in Portland. But I think I've had enough of it now to know a score I'm going to give it out of 10. Well, price-wise, $11.95. <laughs> Mate, I'm pretty sure KFC's making some pretty good profits off this. <laughs> Flavour-wise, well, I always find that these mozzarella cheese things, I can never taste them. So I don't even know what the point of having them on there is. The two fillets with the bacon on there, mate, this made it extra salty, like almost too salty, said no one ever. You probably could have done with some buns on either side just to take away and dilute some of that salty flavour. But all in all, I think it tasted really good. So for my all over value, all over flavour, all over taste, all over everything score for this Zinger Mozzarella with no buns, I'm giving it ah. A 9 out of 10. I mean, it's pretty expensive. And man, it is really salty. But the, the fact is that it tastes so good. And man, I would love to smash another one of these. Maybe even two. These $2 chips. Well, I mean, these are all right. A little bit soggy and, well, under seasoned like they usually are. But I'll be saving most of those for later because I'm going to cook some steak tonight and, well, I'll shove these in the air fryer to reheat them. Steak and chips night at Grego's tonight. Who's going? So, what's my recommendation? Well, I'll tell you what, if you've got the KFC app and you feel like a really salty treat and dropping 12 bucks, then go and shout yourself a bunless Zinger mozzarella. It actually tastes pretty good and, well, it's KFC, mate. What more do I have to say? Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I review something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the review